Hey guys, what's up? It's Liam here. Welcome back to another video, guys. Anyway, guys, before I continue with my video, I want to chat and address something to you guys, and I feel it's really important, and it's got to do with the coronavirus. And I feel, you know, as a YouTuber, a content creator, I feel a lot of us need to speak about this because it's becoming a problem, a worldwide problem, and the virus is spreading drastically. And, you know, I think it's a time for us to have some form of respect for one another, you know? And that's by washing your hands regularly, making sure when you walk out your front door you have some form of protection, like a mask or something, you know? When you're greeting somebody that you know, make sure that you don't handshake them, or give them an elbow, or any way of, you know, not spreading, uh, potentially spreading the virus. So anyway guys, I'm gonna continue with the video. Anyway guys, continue with the video. So, for those that do know, I purchased a pair of sneakers now recently, uh, yeah, it was a few days ago, not too, too sure. Okay, anyway, um, I bought these pair of sneakers at a pop-up store, um, Yahoo Africa. So if you guys that don't know what Yahoo Africa basically was, they had a pop-up that was stocking Off-White here in Preston, Palm Angels and a few other brands. But uh, yeah, they were there for two months and they were really successful really, from what I heard. And um, yeah, so during the month or the course of the two months, they had a sale, you know, getting to the end of the pop-up. And I actually landed up spending, you know, way below retail, and it was absolutely insane. I actually got picked these up for like an eighty percent, eighty percent off. Uh, so yeah, um, when I first checked these shoes out, I really wanted them, but couldn't justify the retail price because you know the materials and stuff and whatnot. Because you know, first hand look, but uh, after purchasing them now, I feel I can give you an honest review because I actually had to redo this video. Because you know, now that I've owned the shoe and you know, worn it for a couple of days, now I can feel like I can give you a, a real honest review on the sneaker. And yeah, so let's get on with it. All right, guys. So you've seen the box. So these are the Hair and Preston Security sneakers in the black and I think green vault colorway. Yeah, I think that's the green vault colorway. But anyway, guys. So. Before I continue, dust bag, and then yeah, let's move on to the sneakers. All right, guys. So these are the sneakers, the security sneakers. Slightly different, you know, to your normal chunky dad silhouette, you know. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be using the left shoe as usual. So let me just put the right shoe this side. Alright guys, so as usual we're going to be chatting about the materials, the durability, sizing, the price and whether it's, you know, worth, worth buying. And yeah, so let's get on with the materials. So from what I know, the shoe consists of three main materials being mesh, uh, felt and then a nylon material. So felt being the main material as, you know, going around the shoe, I'm not sure you guys can see, it's a really black shoe so I don't think you'll be able to see, but it is a felt material. Then the next uh, material would be the nylon sock that goes actually inside the shoe, which is very much similar uh, to the Asset Jalite 5, if anybody is familiar with that. Uh, I find it to be really cool because it really helps with ankle support and you know, since the shoe is similar to like hiking sneakers, uh, <laughs> you plan to hike with these, these are really gonna really work well. All right, so, and then mesh, of course, uh, being on the side paneling inside and outside of the shoe being over here being over here and at the back as well all right so materials on this you know um not the you know the most high-end uh, premium kind of uh, materials but i definitely feel it is extremely durable and i think that is why i can now give you guys an honest review on this because since i've been wearing this a lot now recently my views of the sneaker has changed. Uh, I must say, the shoe is really proportioned well. It's very rigid by the toe box and by the heel. So this is not a flimsy, <laughs> a flimsy shoe. And you know, with this Vibram sole, and for those that don't know about Vibram, they are really well known, you know, hiking sort of um, manufacturing company or for shoes, soles for shoes and it's extremely durable like it's really really durable and very comfortable if you find um firmer soles comfortable like for me i need a firmer sole because 
I walk a lot so this really in the long run is more comfortable than you know like 350 V2s, Ultra Boost, anything that's really soft these are extremely comfortable and the why the hell is my thing going on like that alright so continuing with durability the sneaker is 100% really durable it's going to last you a really long time and it's extremely rigid it's it's just just absolutely fantastic so let's move on to sizing now sizing like most designer sneakers you're gonna have to size that and I felt with this I had to do the same I am a UK 8 which is a size 42 so I had to drop down to a size 41 and these fit absolutely perfect so I highly recommend you do that or if you want to play safe go into store and check them out if you can um, and try this on absolutely fantastic all right so I want to chat about now you know whether the sneaker is actually worth purchasing and to be honest um, it really depends on you know the individual like a lot of us sneakerheads or should I say people that you know like clothing and sneakers we look at materials before anything and I feel like in the material department it lacks for a lot of people and for this you know being a fault sneaker a lot of people are going to shy away from it because you know it's not really high-end like you know new bucks you know leather or suede anything that is you know soft and delicate and to be honest I think that is the reason why my opinion on the sneaker has changed because I felt like you know having those delicate materials doesn't mean it's better quality or you know more premium I've realized over time that you know those are the type of materials that are the ones that likely get ruined over time and I feel like how this shoe was particularly you know how the shoe was designed having felt I think it was absolutely perfect because this is some this is basically a hiking sneaker um, and if you do go hiking with these they are gonna last long because felt is a material that can really withstand a lot of damage especially being in a rather vanta black sort of color because you can hardly even see the lines in the sneaker you know and I think the whole purpose of the sneaker is, is absolutely crazy and I really love it and I feel like a lot of people also won't really care for the sneaker because you know it lacks a lot of branding and now especially if you're going to spend a lot of money on a sneaker like this retail wise which probably go, which I believe goes for six and a half on cents and for those that do not know the price on these sneakers at the pop-up was eight and a half thousand and you know with regards to the sale I only paid one and a half which is absolutely a mega steal so um, yeah it lacks a lot of branding well it has branding but you really can't see it because it's really you know ghosting <laughs> um, it's hair and piston is a hair and piston um, branding on the tongue the hair and piston at the back as well and also let me take the shoe out first and show you this in the insole is hair and piston as well there but again, this, what I love about this sneaker is that it's a sneaker whether you like it or not. And there's some form of humbling experience owning this because you know, a lot of people are gonna look at this and think whatever what it is. But at the same time, if you know, you know. So I really, really like these and I think these look absolutely fire with so many fits, especially, you know, blue baggy denims or, you know, cargoes. These absolutely look fantastic with fits and you know after this you know video I'm going to show you some clips of how to style these and yeah I just think a lot of people are sleeping on this and funny enough you know that's the main, main, the main reason why I'm actually making this video because I haven't seen anybody post about these um, on IG I haven't seen anyone even do a video on this on YouTube so I felt I wanted to take you know do a video on these because these are absolutely fantastic sneakers and to be honest um, detail you know answering the question whether these sneakers are worth you know the retail price being eight and a half well six and a half cents but then on cents but then again you're gonna spend a lot of money if you live in Africa South Africa you know with regards to you know um, customs so you're gonna spend up around 10,000 when it comes to your house so yeah I guess it's not worth you know buying online if you live here in South Africa 
but uh, I do kind of feel this thing is really worth the retail price because overall the, the overall structure of the sneaker is fantastic so yeah guys I highly recommend you going check these sneakers out absolutely fire um, so yeah it's a sneaker whether you like it or not so yeah it's one of those sneakers you hate it you will love it and yeah I absolutely love them and yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video so check me rocking these these are absolutely spicy so after this clip there's gonna be some fits Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go give it a like, comment and subscribe. And again guys, please, the coronavirus is serious. Please do wash your hands and wear some form of protection when going outside guys. But anyway, please guys, keep safe and yeah, ciao.